The construction works for my trading village has finally begun and today I want to show you the most important building in the entire village and I am talking about the bank right there that I'm gonna be using to get as many emeralds as possible and for this I have also a lot of bodyguards you know just roaming around the area because this stretch right here is so important that the entire series will 100% change for the better just by having this around because this structure here towards the Fletchers these are traders that will allow you to sell sticks for emeralds yes only 32 sticks for one emerald and wait it gets even better because as you transform them into zombies over and over you can reduce the price um, of an emerald to just one stick. This means that you will be able to buy one emerald for only one stick. Really, this has to be by far the most efficient um, trader in the entire game. And not only this, this is only the beginning because at max level, these traders right here will allow you to trade for arrows because they can also trade for arrows in fact um, if we go and cycle to their trades some of them have this special trade right here which will allow you to buy arrows for only one emerald you know a quarter of a stack of an arrow for only one emerald and as you level them up more and more those arrows will transform and you can buy then at max level enchanted arrows this means that you can have the effect of a potion but on an arrow this means burning arrows slowing arrows um, you can also have um, other special effects for arrows such as poison um, healing and so on if i remember correctly um, there are many many different effects and these um, traders will allow you to get these items for basically no resource at all because they're so cheap um, but let me show you this structure that i have made right here so this is my bank this is the bank um that i'm gonna be using to store uh, like to um, keep safe my traders and i have around them a lot of bodyguards so you guys can see they are just roaming and i have even more bodyguards inside um these like underground literally underground i have more bodyguards as well and this is made out of concrete. I think it gives the effect a very nice... Um, I think it gives the bank a really nice effect, you know. It makes it look very sober, very uh, like a vault type of things. I love it. And inside of it, I have the traders. You know, each one has their little uh, bed over there. They have their workstation. And... I can easily access each and one of them you know i have also have i also have the lanterns right here for some light so for some light inside the the, the structure and each and one of them uh, we can come and trade for emeralds you know so as you finish one trader you can go into the other into the next one into the next one to the next one until you have an insane amount of emeralds let me get out of there though because they do make a lot of noise um but with this you know the and like everything becomes so much better because we are going to be able to have um a lot of emeralds that we can then come over here and trade with the other villagers that i have so such as these ones the armorers you know we can come right here and trade the emeralds for iron leggings and in the future when they get maxed we can trade them for um diamond uh, armor for example same for the clerics we can trade them um for, or we can trade emeralds for redstone, ender pearls, and even bottles of experience in the future. And this, this is only the beginning because I plan on making many, many more structures right here on my village. This is truly going to be a very large village, you know, full of every single one of the type of traders that we have in the game. And each and one of them will have a really nice um, structure and building, uh, a really nice building so that they can... Uh, live happily and trade well with us. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, because I know that a lot of people uh, You know, I I have seen in my comments 
and also in my in other videos you know that i've been looking for that i've been watching a lot of people do not know about the fletcher you know so i i wanted to share this with you because this is what i will be using to get my emeralds and as you guys can see you know for only a few sticks you can get one emerald that is insane because you can trade i think up to 12 times or something like that or 15 times for with them um, that means that if i have seven i can get almost a hundred emeralds <laughs> um just by trading um with with these traders you know and that is uh every few days every few days i can have um hundred emeralds that is like insane and that is um how can I say this? That is if we consider that I only have seven. I could always add more rooms, more floors, and more fletchers. Um, and that is not even thinking about the amount of arrows that I can get, you know. If I reduce the price of this, or even without reducing the price, I could easily get um, to, to the a full chest, you know, of arrows in no time literally just by trading emeralds with them. And the best part is that you get experience, they get experience. And this is actually one of the ways that I have been using to level up my own character. Because you can, for example, um, go and farm wood to a wood farm that I made in the previous uh, episode over there. I can farm wood over there, transform it into sticks, come right there and boom, just like that, uh, I have a, what, a f almost an entire, I don't know, probably 20 levels worth of experience, just like that, or something, or something like that. It's, it's, it's insane the amount of, like, how useful these things are. So I heavily recommend to everyone to get, um, the hang, uh, to get some Fletchers for your world if you are running low on, on, on Emerald, especially if you play on the 1.20.1 .1 version of Minecraft, which is the latest version. Because this version of Minecraft really relies heavily on the traders. You know, you cannot really do anything without them. Because even going underground, um, you cannot get that many emeralds underground. So you can just buy them over here to the traders. You know, you can spend probably 20 emeralds or 32 emeralds, something like that, for one piece of, for, of diamond armor, which is like nothing. So that means that if you reduce the price with one... Uh, one round of selling stuff to the bank, you can buy a full set of armor. If you don't reduce the price of this, if you reduce the price further, you can buy 100 sets of armor or something like that, or 20 sets of armor, let's say. Um, so really, this is awesome. I heavily recommend uh, for everyone that uh, are struggling with getting diamonds in this new version to get some Fletchers. They will make your life easy. And do not worry, I know that a lot of people like other um, villagers more. And I am going to be bringing those to the village as well in the future. In fact, like I mentioned, I plan, like I mentioned in previous episodes, I planned on having um, every single, every single um, village. Oh, sorry, I, I, pl I plan on having every single type of villagers here on my village. So, um, uh, it's going to be really cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope, uh, I really hope you guys enjoy it because I think this is something um, really nice to have on your world. Um, if you don't want to use mods, uh, which it's kind of now starting to be almost very similar to the modern Minecraft with uh, how much you rely on, on, on the traders. In fact, modern Minecraft might now be better because it makes um going for diamonds better you know um, this makes it slightly too easy um to get um, to the diamonds but because i wanted to have the full vanilla experience this is what i have done so far so thank you guys so much for watching my name is comet and i am signing out peace